A troubled police department will soon have a new leader. About two hours ago, the Cranston City Council unanimously approved Mayor Fung's nomination for the next police chief. Eyewitness News has live coverage of this story we've been tracking for months now. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan is live in Cranston with more on what it means for the Cranston Police Department. Well, for the last nine months, the Cranston Police Department has been under the leadership of Rhode Island State Police, but starting October 1st, a new police chief will be walking through these doors. For 24 years, Lieutenant Colonel Michael Winquist worked his way up state police ranks to become number two in command. By Monday night, Cranston City Council unanimously voted him to lead the police department. I'm ready to lead. Um, being a number two has been a great experience for me, but everybody wants to, you know, take the reins themselves. The 45-year-old Barrington resident says he's looking forward to the challenge, already planning to meet with command staff and assess the department's needs his first day on the job. My expectations is everyone to work together in a unified fashion. And I think, um, you know, in the past administrations or past leadership, maybe there was issues regarding that. With the department's ongoing parking ticket scandal and a captain's lawsuit against the city, Mayor Ellen Funk believes his nomination will bring a fresh perspective. It's a step in a new direction and it's a benefit to taxpayers and it's a step to, you know, unite the department and, and continue their good work on behalf of the taxpayers. The city wasted no time making Winquist feel at home. Good luck and I would also urge you, if, if you uh, need something, you know, come and ask us for it. We might even give it to you. Thank you, Now, one quest will be making $13,000 more than his predecessor, but he won't be taking benefits. That saves the city $28,000. Reporting live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.